Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Bobby93 Mac Boy. Another Final Cut Pro tutorial for you guys today. Now, um, as you guys, if you guys are subscribed to me, you saw that I did post like a 30 second video of how to do the gun sight effect in Final Cut Pro and how to make that gun sight and make it look like you're looking down the barrel of a gun aiming at a target. And um, I did post a video of me doing that. So, right now in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did that. Now, uh, the first thing I want to get out of the air is in one of my previous ver videos, I said that this was the most recent version of Final Cut. It's actually not. This is like Final Cut 5. So I was mistaken. I thought it was the newest version, but I didn't know what number the newest version was. And so I was misinformed and I thought that this was. But I will be getting the newest version, as you guys see right now. And I'll be sharing, I'll probably tell you guys about this as soon as, if it works. But um, back to this, back to the tutorial. Hold up. All right, so come on. All right, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is get your clip. Now I got a pretty small clip because I didn't want to have to wait for it to render. But before I had this whole 30 seconds clip, and that's what you guys saw on YouTube. So you take your clip that you want and you insert it into the timeline. Now as you guys see, um, let me delete the audio from this. Sorry, I'm kind of like sick right now. So if you guys can, if I sound a little weird. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So the video is rendering. Now, as you guys see, here's our clip. So when you're filming for your, um, when you're filming for the effect, or whenever you're doing your filming for whatever clip you want to use the gun side effect on, make sure that you are moving the camera around because the camera is what is going to be looking like it's the gun. So if you're moving the camera around like you would move a gun around, like you're looking through the scope, just kind of keep that into perspective. So if you're like uh, trying to show that you're putting the gun side on somebody, try to have them in the middle of the screen and track that what they're moving, like by moving the camera slowly, like you would be moving a gun slowly. That way you will have a more realistic uh, video clip. So after you've imported the uh, clip of whatever you're trying to track with the gun sight, you are going to insert your gun sight uh, little clip. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. I made my gun sight on Photoshop, which is very simple, but I didn't want to show you guys how to do that in this tutorial because that would make it over 10 minutes, and I don't think I'd be able to, but let me see. Here's my gun sight PDF. Er, not PDF. Er, yeah, it's like a Photoshop file, and as you guys see, you can see through it and that is my gun sight. I will post this on the internet. I'll put it I'll load it to Mega Upload and then you guys can download it and use it. Or if you want to make your own, I'll probably make a Photoshop tutorial on how to make this in a, in a little bit. But so you can just drag you can import it into your uh, browser or whatever and then take it and go superimpose. So now as you guys see my gun sight is on top of the clip. Now, um, but if you guys also look at it, the gun sight does not fill the entire clip. So in order to make it uh, completely cover this entire clip, and you can also make it a little bigger than the clip so it looks like you're zooming in on the gun, you have to click on um, the clip inside your timeline and double click it and it'll bring it up in the show. Oh, crap, what'd I do? Oh, you double click it what the hell oh you right click it sorry and then click open in viewer and then it will open it right here and then you go to motion I think and then you go to scale and make it however big you need it so I'm gonna have it about here actually no about here so 167 and if you have multiple clips and you want to put it over multiple clips just always use the same one to be consistent and then uh, you can click out of that I guess now you go to render all it takes a little while 
this is fairly simple if you guys have the uh, gun sight you can make your own gun sight and I'll show you how to make it and how to do different variations or whatever with it it's 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 very simple if you have Photoshop the tutorial I watched was using Photoshop CS3 and I have CS4 and it was just as easy if not easier alright there you go 100% now if you watch this there you guys have it that's how you do your gun side effect in Final Cut Pro or you can do this in Final Cut Express too it's very easy alright um, thank you guys for watching this is Bobby93 MacBoy I'll put the link the mega upload link to um, down, da sorry to download my gun site in the description so thank you guys for watching please make sure you rate and comment even if it's just good job or thanks or if you don't like it you can comment too I mean I'm open to criticism make sure you rate rating is the easiest thing just click five stars while you're watching this and then um, if you guys do like my videos and you like my tutorials make sure you subscribe so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time peace